ever wondered how Iron Man Jarvis still works? Like mid flights, no internet, just pure tech. That's idea stopped me, so I built my own offline speech recognition interface using Python and the Vox API. And yeah, it actually works. I'm Michael, and um, I'm still working on the channel name, but um, let's just get some really cool stuff, shall we? Alright, um, so here's how the script works. Now, I use my laptop, my initially. But for better audio, I decided to use an external microphone. In this case, my regular earpiece should do fine. Something like this, basically. And um, we're going to talk about the code bit by bit. So, of course, the first thing you want to do is you want to like, you know, import the essential stuff. I'm talking about the Vox model, the Vox and Cloud recognizers. Then um, we're talking about um, the Pi audio system too. Now, Vox handles the offline speech recognition. Pi Audio gives us access to the microphone on our system. Now, um, the beautiful thing about this is not only does it work for Python, it works for Python, for Java, and for C. That's plus. So, for C, basically. So, um, if you want to build like a Django app, you're going to implement it into it. And, um, or if you want to build like a Java, like an app using Java, you can, you know, Android, Android Studio, basically, is a perfect goal for it. I created something like that. It's a project I'm working on, I'll show you later. So uh, let's just get started. Let's just get into this. Then um, we load our speech model. Now the model is uh, when your parts, the parts where you're going to download. I'm going to show you on um, a link. This link below that you're seeing right here. This link that you can see just right here like this. That's going to take you to a place where you're going to download your models from. So we have from English to French to Russian to Dutch to Korean to Chinese, whatever speech um, model you want to work with, whatever language you know how to speak use it for it and to give you perfectly fine what you want so for this project i didn't use a very large model i use a very small model the normal basic Fox model small english us 0.15 i guess yes when you download it you have to ensure that um, you create pass correctly and um, internet you don't need internet of course so the next thing we do is we set up the recognizer so my recognizer is um, this uh, recognizer equal to county model sixteen thousand. Now, 16,000 is the sample rates in Hertz, the standard rates for speech on um, when you're writing code. Now, line of value is there's a whole lot of stuff in that. I suggest maybe like, you know, you do your own research. Then now, time to access the mic. The mic is equal to uh, this Pi Audio dot Pi Audio. Of course, I can use something better, but then uh, that's pretty a whole new function. But yeah, this works fine, so let's just about String equal to mic that open format equal to Pi Audio. And this Paint system, so it's not just paint system, it's like PA integer system basically. PA integer system, Italian is equal to one, rate 16,000. Input is true, like keep on listening. What's the set to false? So, in a situation where um you want to like build a model and you want to build a large data set and everything, you can say, okay, um if my mouse is not moving, then you're implementing uh, this thing, maybe you're using. Media pipe, Google's media pipe, or you're using some setting image recognition interface. You can say, okay, if my mouse is not moving, set the input to false, and I mean, you resolve the whole stress of okay, picking up external voices as not yours. Or if the frames per buffer, eight one nine two. Don't ask me, I don't know, but I mean, that's the standard for the buffer rate frame. Now, uh, stream does start to underscore stream. So once you run this code, basically, this does this code to just say, okay, start running it ASAP, start listening to the microphone. This sets up a live audio stream for your default microphone. It's configured to match the recognizer's sample rates and formats. If the video has been helpful to you, please um, don't mind me. Do want to subscribe and share it. It helps a lot. And um, I've got some more cool projects coming up. So I'd like you to join the community and be among those that get it done first time. Thank you. Thank you for not And um, now, let's talk about the loop that listens and transcribe. Now, while true, why is set to the input? So the data equals to stream dot read is four oh nine six. Look at how um, that eight one nine two is the half of this four oh nine six. Yeah, sometimes we want to talk about, but yeah, let's just note that eight one nine two half of four oh nine six. If you recognize that that um, accept from a form, like the data, like it is like a whole like uh, function on its own. Text equal to like text equal to recognizer dot results. Parenthesis or brackets basically. Prints, brackets, text, 14, co um, semicolon, um, dash, minus 3, square brackets, bracket close. 
what it does basically is um we're continuously reading the small chunks of the audio if the recognizer gets a complete phrase it returns the result the text um that 14 3 something like you saw that part here what it does is it's just slicing off the clean transcripts of the JSON response it's clean and dirty but i mean it works it is disconnected yep internet is disconnected and um it's still working perfectly fine although the um, it's not really perfect 100 percent but i mean come on it still works all right so um this is michael youtube channel okay i didn't say that but yeah it's still like a work in progress but i mean like that's what training is meant for yeah So if you're interested in getting this thing to be working perfectly fine, you can go for larger models and data set. I mean, it's going to be working perfectly fine, better than this. Oh, you got that one. <laughs> Alright, on to the next thing. So if you roll with me to this point, thanks. You're one of a kind. I appreciate that a lot. My thoughts to the Christians in Britain, um, stay safe you all. And remember, everyone, don't forget to pray tonight. See you next time.